we're going to explain the correct instructions of Art Needs hand warm-up, respectively power pack, with which you can warm up your hands or other body parts and charge your phone. Prior usage, make sure that you fully charge the device. Take the delivered charging wire and connect the micro USB input adapter with the micro USB input port here on the side of the device. And then connect it to an energy source like your computer, your laptop, or a simple USB adapter, um, which you can connect to a household socket. But such an adapter is not included in the set. There are three blue LED lights right here on the side of the device. During the charging process, those LED lights will flash. As soon as the device is fully charged, all three LED lights will be lit up in a solid blue. If you want to check the current charging state of the device, simply press the push button right here once and it shows you either three blue LED lights, meaning that the device is fully charged, or just two blue LED lights, meaning that the device is about half charged. And if there's just one blue LED light left, it means that it's nearly empty and soon needs to be recharged. If it's not possible to activate it, or if it's just no LED light showing up, it means that it's completely empty and needs to be recharged. Let's start with the hand warmer function of the device. To activate the hand warmer function, simply press the switching on, respectively switching off button here for about 3 seconds and the device starts getting active. It immediately starts to heat up on its highest heating setting indicated by three red LED lights right here on the side of the device. If you want to adjust to the middle heating setting, just press the push button again and it starts to heat on the middle heating setting indicated by two red LED lights. And if you want to switch to the lowest heating level, just press the button again once. And it starts to heat up on its lowest heating level indicated by just one red LED light lit up. If you now want to go back, for example, to the highest heating setting, just press the button again once. And it starts to heat up again on its highest heating level indicated by three red LED lights. If you now want to switch it off, simply press the push button again for about 3 seconds and the red LED lights on the side will turn back into blue, giving you again information about the current charging state of the device. And after about 30 seconds, um, the blue LED lights will disappear as well, which means that the device is now completely turned off. So if you want to activate the power pack function now, um, simply take the delivered charging wire or your own charging wire and take the matching um, adapter connected with the device you would like to charge and then take um, the power pack and connect it with the USB output port right here um, with the device and it will immediately start to charge. So you won't have to press the switching on, respectively switching off button, simply connect it and the charging process starts. So to switch the power pack function off, simply disconnect um, the power pack from the device you're currently charging. So you don't have to press any switching on um, or switching off button again. It will automatically um, switch off when you unplug it. And after about 30 seconds, the blue LED lights right here on the side of the device will disappear, which means that the power bank is now um, completely off. So again, you won't have to press a button or something.